Just wait on this light to turn green because he's going to take off. Move! Move! Go, 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 go! Hey, go! Do you like police chases? Do you like bumper cars? And do you love to see murder suspects get bit by police canines? If so, then this video is for you. So let me tell you what's going on in this situation. We have a suspect named Elijah Jennings out of Philadelphia way back in May of 2022. He is suspected of murdering one Robert White and murdered in cold blood. According to the investigators, somebody was sitting in the passenger seat of a vehicle and it was probably a drug deal gone wrong, who knows? And it appears that some suspects <clears throat> Elijah Jennings may have shot the driver point blank in the body and in the head. So whoever did it is a nasty individual. And now the police are looking for the murder suspect. After several months of investigation, they put out in a warrant for the arrest of Elijah Jennings. But by this point in time, the suspect has fled to Atlanta, Georgia. Where else would he flee to? For the folks who live in Atlanta, Georgia, God bless you, because it's a little criminal hub for a lot of these offenders. Without further ado, let's dive in a little deeper and find out what happens on this day when Brookhaven PD is tasked by the FBI Fugitive Task Force out of Atlanta to track down and apprehend a murder suspect. Two suspects inside of this black Chevy SUV and the officers are attempting what's called a felony stop. Now, I don't know about you, but uh, when we know there's a murder suspect in a car, we actually do one better than a felony stop, we actually box them in. And you'll see why boxing them in is sometimes a better choice than uh, this particular felony stop because uh, it doesn't take too long for them to figure out maybe the felony stop wasn't the best choice. Put the car in park and roll the windows down. All the windows, the back windows. Can you see how many per people? I got one. Driver, I can see him, he's got a black hoodie. Just wait on this light to turn green because he's gonna take off. Sometimes foreshadowing is relatively obvious. Put your hands out the window, both of them. Driver, step out. Driver, step out. Keep your hands up. Your hands visible, buddy. Keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. Come to me. Hey, he's gone, he's gone, he's gone, he's gone, he's gone. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, he, he comes out with his hands up, that's right. But hey, why is the car shaking? Car shaking because our boy Eliza Jenny was in the passenger seat, shimmied it over into the driver's seat, and then put that bad boy in drive. And now the chase is on. All right, 100 world pursuit. Uh, it's gonna be the uh, murder suspect. 100, I and there's our first pit maneuver. Not a scale of one through 10. That type of pit maneuver right there. I give him uh, an eight out of 10 for impact, but I give him like a three out of 10 for finesse. When done correctly, there shouldn't even be a scratch on your car. That's in practice. In the real world, your pit maneuvers look a little bit more like this. He gets that car fully sideways, but uh, not good enough. Let's dive back into the action. Coming down to you for going toward the precinct. All right, hold the channel. We've already rammed him twice. He's still in pursuit. And uh, at least he was honest. He said, we've already rammed him twice. Uh, not really a pit maneuver, but hey, I'll take a ramming any day of the week. And uh, he's actually, again, requested on the radio to hold the air. Now this chase gets going and they're getting closer and closer into what appears to be a downtown area. So it gets even more and more risky. Let's see, I can't read the clock exactly. It looks like it's off, but suffice it to say, it's afternoon and it looks like there's some rush hour traffic. So let's get back into the chase. Check on where speed's 82. 85 and probably what's a 35 or 40 mile per hour zone. That's getting it, kicking up dust. These guys are doing a great job staying in the chase. Sure, if you can get him, get him one more time. Watch out for pedestrians, pedestrians. We're looking at the in-car dash cam from the number two vehicle in the chase. So he goes ahead and puts out, go ahead and try to pit him again. But then at the same time realizes, woo, it's a little bit of a questionable time to do it. We got pedestrians on the road. We got a lot of people. Hey, I'm walking here. You know, and, th and these pit maneuvers are never really pretty. Usually you get a rollover, then the suspect bails out. So they decide to give him a little love tap there and let's watch it. it it's kind of a fail. He tried, but it's more bumper cars than a pit maneuver. Watch out for pedestrians, pedestrians. So now that first vehicle is completely out of the chase. This is where Eliza Jennings, <laughs> he makes the wrong turn, makes a left down an alleyway where there is no way out. Now, if you're gonna pit someone, this is the spot. Let's see what happens when this canine handler successfully performs yet another pit maneuver. This is gonna be the body cam of the same officer, the canine officer from Brookhaven PD. Coming in hot. Hey, go, 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 go. Pulling out his canine partner completely off leash. Show me your hands! Show me your hands! Show me your hands! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! 
As you can see here, he bites him full mouth in the bicep, takes him down at gunpoint, and that's how you get a murder suspect off the street. We can pause right there. Look at Elijah's face. That's what happens when you fuck around and find out. Don't run from Brookhaven PD now, all right? I'm sure they get a lot of riffraff and they're used to dealing with uh, individuals such as yourself. You wanna run from the law? We're well, gonna have a canine on your, on your arm in no time flat. Hey folks, if you like what you see so far and you wanna get your dog or puppy trained to be the best that they can be, where can they find the best online dog training? DIYK9.com. We'll see you there. Classic, classic. I just absolutely love the expression on his face. Dog has a beautiful bite on the inner bicep and this canine officer has got his gun drawn on this guy. He has definitely got control of the situation. So I give him a 10 out of 10 for the speed and the violence of his attack, if you will, right? We've got to be on the offensive here. So he gets out of the car, pulls his dog out and no time fly. You can tell he's practiced this. And that dog sprung into action, lickety split. Only for a half second, the dog's like, who am I biting? Oh, this idiot? No problem. Handles business. And just because of the sheer violence of his action, how quickly he came on target, I give him, you know, different bonus points for that because it didn't really give Elijah too much a chance to do anything stupid. But at the same time, we roll back just a little bit. It's a little risky, a little bit of a cowboy maneuver to come around the corner of that vehicle so fast without having an extra gun or two, a couple of backups there to help you handle business. <laughs> In other words, we always say, don't bring a dog to a gunfight. Now, when he rounds that corner on this murder suspect, we don't know if Elijah's armed or not. So again, great tactics. Just wish he would have slowed down just a second. Now, I know I'm contradicting myself because in one hand, he comes around hard and fast, bonus points. But at the same time, if he had waited two more seconds, it still would have been fast, but he would have had two or three more guns to help him out. And there's one more thing I want you to watch for that I'm really proud of. This canine was ready to rock and roll, had all of his equipment on. It's one of my pet peeves with canine hand out there that run their dogs basically naked in the back seat. And then when the murder suspect chase happens, there's no time to run into the back and put the equipment on. When the bailout happens, it's a little too late to go putting on your vest and all the equipment that you need. So big bonus points to this canine officer for having his dog ready to go on a moment's notice. Let's do this thing! The only other thing I'm gonna nitpick on this canine officer, really no hesitation, definitely a, a courageous officer. I just would like to not see the canine officer go hands-on if you got a gun in your hand. You know, what we say, let's holster up real quick. You already got two or three other guns on this guy. If you're gonna go hands-on, try to holster up first. But hey, it's easy for us to sit in our chair behind our desk or in our beds and Monday morning quarterback. I give this guy A plus. Really did a great job, but we can always learn uh, from our mistakes. And, and again, all I'm gonna nitpick is you just slow down just a little bit and it would have been a little safer. But all in all, handle business, got a murder suspect off the street and tell you what, if you're running from the law, I don't think Brookhaven is where you wanna be. And uh, if the police try to pull you over, you should have just gave up right here at the point of the felony stop and you'd have been better off. I give up. So that about wraps it up. Big kudos to Brookhaven PD. I got this one right here for Eliza Jennings. That's what happens when you fuck around, you're gonna find out. And that's a wrap. Stay tuned for some more police canine break down videos. We got a couple more coming that are extra juicy. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.